Hi guys! It has been a few days since I came back from Copenhagen and because the flight home was so terrible I needed two days to sort my mind and yeah, get calm again. And now uh, finally is time to make a haul video about all the stuff that I bought in Copenhagen. If I look down where all the stuff is uh, lying on the floor I'm glad that you can't see all the chaos. This might be the wrong order because this was the thing that I bought last at the airport at Starbucks but I'm going to start with it anyway because it says Denmark and Copenhagen. These are two little espresso cups and I bought this for my brother because he's collecting them. He was in Singapore a few weeks ago and he bought the cups from Singapore so I saw them and I thought okay if he's collecting them now he will get the ones from Copenhagen so I bought this for him. Then something I also bought on the last day but not at the airport but at the shopping mall at Fields was in a shop called Glitter. It's some sort of jewelry shop um, and okay to put it again into a wrapping paper and I'm going to open this now and this is actually an earring I'm not sure uh, what you call this when you are putting it here um, but yeah I was looking for such a thing for a very long time and I saw this it was 80 crowns it was around 9 euros I have the price here and I really liked it I like leaves and I like nature jewelry so I saw this and I thought okay that's going to be mine. There is this earring here and there is a separate one for the other ear. The day before we left Copenhagen we have been also shopping in the inner city and we found a very nice shop where they sell amber jewelry. So I got three pairs of earrings so these are the three kinds of earrings that I bought. These are oval ones, these are square ones and these are heart shaped ones. These look a little bit greenish, these are a little bit yeah, brown and these are some sort of red. So I saw these three and it was I think an offer um, get free but just pay for two. Something that I also bought at the airport was a pin because wherever I go um, yeah, I get at least one pin. So this is the Denmark and Copenhagen pin. I hope the camera will focus on it and it's not too light so you can see the colors at least. In the shopping center fields where we have been the day um, we went home there has been a shop called Bane, I think it's pronounced. This is Bane Welcome Home and I found a very very great candle. It's garden green and I love the scent so much. I saw this and there has also been a diffuser, um, a scent diffuser, but I thought okay uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to put this into my suitcase and not get it damaged during the flight. Um, so I got the candle with the same scent. It already smells like yeah, a garden after summer rain. And it's a minty green and oh my god, I love this smell so much. Mm. Something that I also had to get because my friend had a very bad headache on the first day and I had medicine with me, I had pills with me but I just brought four pills because I thought okay we're not going to need more than four but we did so I got ibuprofen, not the um, right milligrams that I had with me. I had 400 milligrams in one pill but yeah they just had the 200 milligrams in supermarket so I got her this 200 milligram ibuprofen. On the first day we have been to the National Aquarium of Denmark which was actually right on the beach and it was very windy and the first thing that I bought in Denmark was this little game. We played this a lot when we have been kids and my family knows this game and I have not seen it for a very long time and I thought okay I need to get this. My friend even got two of these. Yeah it was a game we used to play as kids 
on a daily basis and we loved it. So these are fish with magnets and here are the fishing roots and you have to yeah, fish with the roots that have also magnets on them. It cost around 80 crowns, I'm not sure. It was about 10 euros maybe. I'm glad that I found this and that I got this. In the Phil's shopping center I found a store um, where we have just been strolling through and I saw something that I had to get for a friend who's pregnant at the moment. These, these are not bibs but I think some sort of scarves. So this is a baby scarf and they had an offer um, for other scarves too. So get free and just pay for two I think again. So I got her a few more colors because I think uh, you can never go wrong with a lot of scarves in winter for a baby. So yeah, I got this and the shop was called Baby Sam. And as you might have noticed by the colors, she is having a boy. So yeah. In Copenhagen there are a lot of shopping centers and shopping malls. Uh, we realized, so we have been to another one, which was called Magazine du Nord or something like that. So, uh, and they were celebrating 150 years. So we have been to Magazine and I got a bra there. And I really liked it. It is a soft bra with no lace or anything, but yeah, I just like the simple look and it feels very great. So I got this bra. It's softer on the back, so that's the reason why I got it. And this cost, I think, 200 crowns, which is around 30 euros. Let's move to food, because uh, I bought a few things for friends and family. First thing that I'm showing you is this. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a caramel, chocolate, something. And they have a competition edition, I think, about the name. So here it says Dammel and the other one is Mulder. I think these are actually the same ones, but they have different names. And I got this at Aldi in Copenhagen. I've been to a candy shop and yeah, I got this bag of candy. I'm not sure if you can see that. This is some, I think it said Danish delight, but we say uh, Turkish honig. So this is some sort of sugar, caramel, something with nuts in it. Then there is some sort of strawberry, yeah, gummy bear thing. It's really hard. Then there are these blue bottles, sour bottles. I have quite a lot of these um, chocolate and mint um, drops. Something else that I got at Aldi was Katja's Topsy and I think this is with uh, licorice, lakritze, licorice, is it licorice in English? I'm not sure. Um, so it's some sort of wine gum with lakritz it says. I got this because my boyfriend said that I should bring home something very nasty and disgusting and we both do not really like lakritz. So I got this and I also got this wine gummy lakritz stuff. I think this is most of it is lacrits from Irmas. Everywhere around Scandinavia people seem to love lacrits or licorice and really we really hate that. So yeah, I got this also to try for the both of us. My boyfriend also asked me if I could bring home some aquavit and I really had no idea what this was. And neither did my friend who was with me. We thought that it was some sort of mineral water and then we went into a liquor store and there they told us that it's not a mineral water, it's some sort of schnapps. So it's liquor with different herbs and yeah, the very nice guy there um, sold me three little bottles and he put it in a pink wrapping paper. I'm going to unwrap it. I have the bottles here now and I'm going to show you one by one how they look. So this is the Aquavit and the guy in the shop said that this is the strongest one. It has 45% um, percent alcohol in it. The man in the shop said that this has around 40% so this is 
the one in the middle. Not the strongest one, but also a little bit stronger than this one. Sport Aquavit, which has around 38% alcohol. I really have no idea how they taste, but my boyfriend wanted them, so I got them. At Aldi, when I saw it, I'm not sure if we have these in Austria or Germany, but I thought this looks so nice. Uh, it's Mümmelmann, and it has a little bunny on it. And the reason why I got this is, um, my nickname for my boyfriend is Hase. I thought, okay, I'm going to get this, and this says Jagdbitter Kräuter Liquor. Um, and there should be lacrits or licorice in it. Again, a licorice treat. Now we have come to the last bag and the last bits and pieces that I brought home from Copenhagen. And um, the whole thing is from H&M. So let's start with the first thing that I got in the inner city, which was this nice sweater. It's a knitted sweater. And I loved the color. It's a very big one, even if the label says XS. And it's very comfortable and soft. I have not seen this one uh, in Austria yet, so I thought, okay, this is my Copenhagen sweater. I'm going to get this. When I went to um, pay for this, I saw this belt. And it has this yeah, rubber thing here. And I was looking for such a belt for such a long time, so I thought, okay, it's reduced to 50 crowns, so I got this belt. And before I paid for that stuff, I also saw something that is sold out in Austria at the moment, which are these yeah, underpants. I got two of those. Um, it's a pack of four because they do not have my size here in Austria at the moment and I thought, okay, I'm going to need them anyway, so yeah, I bought them there. On the last day in Copenhagen, we have been to the Fields Shopping Center and there has been an H&M also. And I saw this very, very nice skirt and I thought, okay, this is a long skirt and I'm going to get this because I really liked the color, I liked the poppies on it and it was reduced to 100 crowns instead of 349. At the airport in Copenhagen there is also a H&M and we went inside because we wanted to see if they have different stuff than they had in the inner city and uh, in some ways they really did. So yeah, I was looking around. I found this very very nice simple black dress with pockets and I was looking for such a dress for a very long time and I thought, okay, like the belt, I'm going to get this. And this cost 200 crowns. So it's around 30 euros, I think. And yeah, it fits like a glove and I really liked it. Yeah. And this is the end of my shopping haul from Copenhagen. This has been quite a lot <laughs> that is lying around me again. And I think I've shown you everything. I really hope that you like what you have seen. And maybe give this video a thumbs up. Okay. There is nothing more left to say except thank you very much for watching. And I wish you a great day and an even better night. Bye.